my dad always says to me when you're talking about something, be positive. Um, but I, in this regard about project-based learning, I think the best thing to do is to say what project-based learning isn't. And I think um, it's not, it, what project-based learning isn't is just a teacher talking in front of the class. What project-based learning isn't is project-oriented learning. Um, of course, if you grew up in California, you would know project-oriented learning by studying the um, missions uh, that grew out in California in the 1600s. And um, you studied the missions for about two months, and then you went home on a Friday, and with sugar cubes, you made a model of a mission. Or I grew up in Philadelphia, and I remember it was the bicentennial and uh, we studied what that meant, what the 200 years meant and then we went home and we um, you know, we, we made a model of the Liberty Bell or uh, something like that. Project oriented learning is what people get confused. They think, I'm doing project based learning, but in reality they're not. Um, project oriented learning looks something like this. Um, the teacher says, well first I'm going to have the kids learn everything they need to know before they can start working. They're going to need to know the whole body of, of whatever we're studying. It could be biology, it could be history, it could be uh, multimedia, it could be art. They, you know, they could say well, first they have to do the color wheels, they have to draw a thousand cubes, and, uh, and they have to you know, work on composition, lights and darks. Um, but that's not project-based learning. That's getting all the basics down first. Then there's maybe a last-minute lesson because, you know, you didn't know what you are going to teach that day. You were up late the night before. Maybe you throw a movie on that relates kind of to what you're talking about. But, you know, it also gives you a good, you know, good time, a break to catch up on grading papers. Maybe an unrelated one-day assignment because maybe you got off track or maybe something really interesting happened in the news that day. And you feel like, yeah, it's worth it to the kids to talk with an adult about this. Um, maybe you forgot to order supplies or you didn't get to purchase them yet. Um, maybe, you know, you're going through the standards. You really want every kid to make sure, if nothing else, they've covered all the standards. You've read the standards out loud to the kids. You've explained what they are. And there, you covered yourself. But in reality, all these things are for the teachers. Um, they're not for the students. It's so you feel good that you've, uh, you know, at least been entertaining for uh, an hour or two hours at, at, at our school where we work. Um, and then about two weeks before the end of the semester, you say, all right, kids, we're going to do a project. And the project is oriented towards the things that the kids studied in class. And uh, then they make the project. They don't really have enough time to uh, edit it or revise it. And on exhibition night, you're there smiling, dressed up. You make all the kids wear their suits and the, their dresses and they look great and they show the projects that they've made and and while they you know they might be some good science in it if it's a science project or even if it's an art project um, there might be some really smart things in there it's not project based learning because the kids did not have to learn all these things to get the project done the project didn't run the the semester. The semester ran and then you did a project at the end. This is what project lear based learning isn't. It's project oriented learning. It's kind of like the opposite of love isn't hate. The opposite of love is indifference. Well the opposite of project based learning is project oriented learning not straight lecturing.